Okay, here's tip number two for um, you and your job search, okay? So we talked about resume. That was the first, that's the first step. So now you've gotten a call back for an interview, okay? Y'all, this is a big tip too. So listen, the way that I talk to my child, who is two, compared to the way that I talk to my friends when we're hanging out, relaxing, compared to how I speak in a job interview, those are three totally different conversations, okay? Um, in a job interview, you guys, you need to be professional. You need to use correct English, you guys. Slang needs to be left outside. And some of us don't know how to turn that off and turn it on. I think we've just become so relaxed with talking to our friends and hanging out with our friends that when we're put in a position to actually have to turn it on or be professional, we don't know how to do it, you guys. And in a job interview, it is so important. In that setting, you need to be able to articulate in that setting, okay? Um, I have heard, I'm, I'm not sure where this came from, but I've heard someone say, I don't have to say yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, no, sir, thank you, and please, because I'm grown. You guys, you are never too grown to use manners. I'm just going to be honest with you. I am 30. I pay my own bills. And you guys, I still say please and thank you. And I, if I feel like it, I'll say yes, ma'am, and no, ma'am. You guys, when, I, when my mom raised me and grandma raised me, y'all, I could not say yeah, and I could not say what if they called me, okay? So I think to this day, when if somebody calls my name, that my first reaction is ma'am. That's what I'll say. I'll say ma'am or sir is what I'll say. It's never what or yeah. Now, you know, it's different now. I know it's different now. So that's just how I am. I just wanted to share that with you. You guys, you are, like I said, you are never too being grown and using manners and having manners. There's, I mean, I'm, I don't know where that came from. I'm grown. I don't have to say please and thank you. That has nothing to do with anything. You guys, manners will take you a long way. Being polite will take you a long way. Sometimes being polite and having manners and being professional will take you further than like a college degree. Even if you don't have that degree to back you up, if you can speak clearly and have good posture and manners and, and is a professional person, you might still get that job, you know, just based on that alone. You guys, so you aren't too old to say thank you. You aren't too old to say please, okay? Um, another thing, when I was growing up, my mom stayed on me, you guys, like white on rice. If I said ain't, my mama was like, the word is isn't or is not. The ain't is not it. Or if I said I'm fixing to, my mom would say fixing to is not it, Ashley. You know, it's I'm about to you guys and that has helped me tremendously and I'm I'm I am gonna be like that with Gabby you know and parents I'm, I can say this I'm a parent so I can talk to parents um, we need to help our kids it's okay to correct our kids that's what we're there for you guys to train them to correct them you guys um, and the reason I I'm going to do it. The reason behind me correcting Gabby is because I need to be able to know that if she gets in a classroom and there is a test, and we all know they might try to trick you on a test, they'll put the options would be ain't, isn't, is not, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And I need to make sure that she knows that ain't is not the correct answer. Just because she uses it or she, that's a word that she uses in her everyday you know, conversations on a test, that is the wrong answer, you guys. And a lot of our kids don't know that. You guys, if they're on a test, they will put ain't. My mama says ain't, I say ain't. They laugh when I say it, so that must be the correct answer. You guys, ain't is not the correct answer. And on a test, that is wrong, okay? Um, fixing to, that is not correct, you guys. On a test, that would be wrong for our kids. Our kids would miss that if fixing to is the answer that they marked. So tell them, that's wrong, you guys. It is nothing wrong with correcting your kids because kids that cannot complete a 
sentence or speak correctly turn into adults that cannot speak correctly and complete a sentence, write a complete sentence. I know, trust me, I used to work at a college. I used to be on the appeal committee and I used to see appeals from adults because I worked at a college and the and some people cannot write a complete sentence, you guys. So in a job setting, in an interview setting, you guys, in an interview setting, I'm gonna turn it on. Me talking to you on this video, this is not how I am in an interview setting. I do not say, um, I don't say y'all. I don't do that in an interview setting, you guys. Also, yeah, that's not a correct response in an interview setting. If somebody asks you something and you want to respond with yes, say yes with an S on the end of it, not yeah. Another example, if they offer you, let's say, some water, okay, and you don't want any, don't say no. Don't say no. Say, if it was me and somebody offered me some water and I did not want any, I would say, no, thank you. I would say, no, but thank you for asking. Okay? That's being polite. There is nothing wrong with that, you guys. I promise it's not. Also, when you walk into a job setting, the minute you step in that door, you need to turn it on. I'm being honest with you. And when I say turn it on, your professionalism, your demeanor, your I'm coming in here to get this job, okay? If you just got through arguing in the car, leave it in the car, you guys. And I mean from the second you walk in the door, from when you meet the receptionist, because you do not know if that receptionist is the receptionist. It could be the director sitting there when you walk in the door, okay? So her first impression needs to be a good one, okay? So when you walk in the door, smile, speak, be professional, get off the phone, turn off your phone when you go into a job setting, okay, you guys? Also, attire. Tennis shoes, sweatpants, and jeans are not interview attire, you guys. That's not that's not what you wear when you go to a job interview, all right? Um, I guess it could depend on what job it is, but nine times out of 10, that is not what you wear in a job interview, okay? Um, I know I shouldn't have to say that, but I have to say that, okay? Um, so yeah, keep in mind, we are from the South, so I know we say ain't, we say y'all. In a job interview, you guys, try to use correct grammar, okay? You want this job. You are going to be a representation of this job, of this company, especially if it's a customer service position or you got to answer the phones. They want to know that you will represent their company in a good way, okay? So you need to show that in an interview, all right? Another thing, I'm saying be professional. I'm saying use correct grammar. You guys, don't use words that you don't know. If you don't know the word, don't use it, period okay you know that saying you don't know a fool until they open their mouth do not use a word if you do not know what it is or what it means okay so it's the simple thing just smile say thank you say please when you leave a job interview say thank you okay say thank you another thing a lot of people probably forget to do um technology is so advanced now you guys if you have an email address or who interviewed you send them an email that says thank you for your time you never know. They might hit you back and say, they might update you. You know, we're down to two candidates. You're one of them. They might update you and say, we're sorry you're not it. But you get a quick update and you it makes you look good. Send them an email and say, thank you. Thank you for the interview. You interviewed me on Tuesday. I appreciate the time. Y'all make sure that that thank you email um, uses the correct spelling. And it's grammatically correct, you guys. Don't send a thank you email and it's... And it looked like some of y'all's Facebook statuses, okay? Um, so do that. That's tip number two. Stay tuned for tip number three. I might lose some friends on tip number three, but y'all, I do it out of love. I promise I do. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>